introducing the speed controller with indicator, which enables precise control of the flow rate with a scale. What's the difference between this one and the conventional one? There are three major differences. Let me explain them one by one. Anyone can easily and accurately adjust the speed settings as every 0.5 rotation is marked. In the window on the lower side, the number of rotations can be checked. And in the window on the upper side, you can check the number of rotations in 0.5 increments. There's also the window at the top of the knob, so you can check the number of rotations even in tight spaces where you can't see it from the side. Although the scale is every 0.5 rotations, it can be locked in 30 positions. It has the most adjustable locking positions in the industry. The position of the window can be changed with a range for union straight type. Make sure the spanner is in contact with a flat surface. I've been having a hard time because the COVID-19 pandemic has kept me from going to the factory and explaining the speed settings in person. With this speed controller, anyone can make the exact same settings, even if they're not used to it because the numbers of rotations are printed. Adjustment can be easily done with linear characteristics that increase or decrease in proportion to the number of rotations and flow rate. With conventional products, the increase or decrease in flow rate is not proportional to the number of needle rotations. Specifically, the flow rate increases significantly after 7 rotations, and the increase in flow rate becomes smaller after 10 revolutions. With the indicator type, however, it's easy to adjust the cylinder speed because the increase or decrease in flow rate in response to the number of needle rotations is almost constant. The low flow type allows even finer adjustment than the standard type because the increase or decrease in flow rate per rotation is smaller. You can choose either standard or low flow type for the same tube size and thread size depending on the cylinder diameter, stroke, and speed. If you need to adjust the speed of several cylinders for simultaneous operation, you can adjust it by simply fixing the knob in the same position, which can be confirmed by the indicator. Now, I can see how many turns I've made on the knob. This saves us a lot of adjustment time. The knob is a push lock type, so it's easy to fix and operate with one hand. When pulling the knob, hold the knob by any part other than the claw part. The push lock type is ideal for locations where machine vibrations can loosen the lock nut that secures the needle, causing the adjustment position to shift or where it's difficult to reach due to tight spaces as it can be operated with one hand. The control direction is indicated by the color of the knob. Because of its compact size, the indicator type is recommended for adjustment work in tight spaces. Push lock type with indicator could be good for improving work efficiency. Even if you are just looking for a push lock knob, it's still affordable. I'd like to know more about it. You can find more information on our website. Please click on the link in the video description.